on the basis we can have no power to arrest anybody on the basis of even his executive orders. The worst he can do is compel or uh, uh, plead with people to obey. Yes, it is good for people to obey rules and regulation, being a governor. Yes, make people understand the implication of the danger ahead. Look at what happened in Lagos State in Badagri. It's in your news. The Lagos State government has sealed the hotels. Mm -hmm. And then they, they will initiate prosecution. Look at also what happened with Fuke Akidele. Even though I, I condemn the Attorney General's um, Decision. You know, not decision, his attitude and the okay. crowd that he gathered. That but day. the question is, they didn't demolish Fuga Kindele's house. Mm -hmm. he was, she was arrested and charged before a court of competent jurisdiction. And, and so a situation where a governor behaves like an emperor, mm -hmm. it should be condemned because he has no such powers. Even supervising the, the demolition it means he has personal interest in the matter. This is beyond the realm well, of being an executive governor. Well, we're not sure whether or his attitude, has. it has it, his attitude, you know, paint a picture of somebody who has a personal interest in the matter. Well, let's let, let's move forward a bit from there, right? Um, does that give, uh, is there a justification uh, because those who were arrested by him were released by a senior police officer? Uh, is there a justification that he isn't supposed to do that in the first place? Because. And if it is, how should it have been handled? Because they flouted the law. I'm not saying that's the best way, but how could this have been handled? You keep talking about flouting a law, flouting a law, and I is ask it, you which law? I mean, Executive but, order. The governor said, you, you know, I have never seen the whole world and even in countries like Italy, when they have even more severe cases, the lockdown was not as severe as the one imposed on the people that he's supposed to be, whose welfare and security is supposed to be responsible for. A situation where you ask people not even go out to buy food, mm -hmm. where you ask people not to even step out to buy drugs, and then you, 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 you say you are responsible for their welfare. And then see, because the police officer knows the positions of the, I'm ashamed that Wike is a law lawyer like me. I'm, a f I'm ashamed to call him a yeah, learned because colleague. Because I was going to ask who's because he should, him. Because he should know. And I expect, you know, people in River State, where you have a former MBA chairman, a very senior lawyer, who is also, who is said to be close to, to Wike, OCG Okocha, people like that should have told Wike that this is not the right thing to do. You know, because if you, if you encourage such impunity, mm -hmm. The, the day will come where you will have a governor. All he will simply do is to follow in, in the excesses of Wiki. So the police officer knows that what Wiki, the governor, is doing is unlawful. And so to that extent, he decided to use his discretion to act duly under the law. And, 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 and so it shouldn't be excused in any way. Because a, a situation where a governor begins to behave like an emperor, he has left the realm of constitutionality. Mm -hmm. Even if, let's assume, that a law had been breached and violated, the worst you can do is to arrest these people and bring them before a court of competent jurisdiction. A situation where you begin to arrest people indiscriminately and send, even without testing, mm -hmm. you send them to isolation center, what are you trying to prove? Are you an emperor or a governor? So you think who is this, a, a, who the is, extremes is, are too these, much. Are, these are extremes, and it shouldn't be encouraged. And I will advise everybody that had suffered this impunity, that had suffered this illegality in the hands of the governor, you know, to, to approach the court for remedy. Because let's even assume you have the state house of assembly in your pocket, you have the judiciary in your pocket. Just pretend to, you know, charge them. You you can you you can you can stage manage, but let the the institutions of government work. A situation where we are trying to build institution, then you are encouraging a strong st one man to be stronger than the institution. Mm -hmm. So what are we trying to prove? Now you have demolished the property. You say you want to charge the owners of the property under which law? To which court? Mm -hmm. and, and 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 so for me, I feel ashamed today calling myself a lawyer you know, in the mode of uh, Governor Wiki, and then you, you, you look at yourself, because people will point accusing fingers, I, I suspect he's a lawyer, and the world is watching, with a click of the button, people know what is going on around the world. And then you see, you, you know, a governor supervising the demolition of a property without a court order. The question has been asked, has Wiki ever done business before? Mm -hmm. If he has done business before, he would understand what it is and what it takes 
to set up a business. And so if any business violates the laws of the land, there are procedures. You arrest the owners of such business. You charge them before the court. If anybody violates your, your orders, mm -hmm. you can, at, rather than just arrest them and send them into isolation centers without care, without medications, without even testing, 